Madini. 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 Mazimba. It's proud Zimbo here. Yeah. Take a game. Like I promised, each and every month I'll be giving you a new episode of the best albums from Zimbabwe. So last month I gave you a gospel edition. So if you haven't watched that video, uh, go or click on the videos, uh, go below, search for that video and enjoy yourself. Uh, so for today, I'll be giving you a Sungura edition. So I'll only be giving you five albums as usual. That's what we do each and every episode of this. So uh, some of you gave me a few recommendations and suggestions. So I just compiled uh, mixing those and some of mine. So you know what, if you're anxious to see which albums featured, stay tuned and enjoy. Uh, now the first album I'll be talking about comes from the godfather of Sungura. A lot of people say he's the guy who created Sungura and it's Leonard Musoro Wenyokademo with the album Chitekete. Now this is just a fantastic, fantastic album. Uh, the title track from this album was so hugely uh, successful and popular that it was played at the Miss World Finals in 1996, which up to today is the only Zim song to achieve such a feat. It's fantastic. And this track sold over 100,000 copies and it contained uh, five amazing tracks. Uh, most popular known is Chitekete and uh, Sarura Wako. It's a fantastic album. And if you really are anxious to, if you're really anxious to find out why some people say Dembo is the greatest ever musician, Check a, check a listen to this album, it's just fantastic. Uh, so the next album I'm talking about is from an artist I very, very much love, and it's Simon Chopa Chimbeto with the album 2000 Blend. Now this is a masterpiece of an album, I love this album to beats, and a lot of, a lot of Zimbos also love this album, with tracks such as Inalia, uh, Newspaper, Rudoibo, Fuspeo, this is definitely a must listen to album. And this album was even so popular when it, when it was released, and I uh, read somewhere which it sold also above 120 thousand copies and that's a huge number and you know what if you if if, if you're one of those people who question why is dendera so much respected why if people have uh, so much a high level of expectation when it comes to dendera just take a listen to this album it will definitely explain to you everything you need explained it's just that fantastic i uh, know this next album is the highest ever selling album uh, in the history of zimbabwean music depending on where you read some say it sold above 300,000 some say above 500,000 but one thing all of these uh, sites uh, will agree is that this is the highest ever uh, selling album in the history of Zimbabwe it's a fantastic fantastic album and it's Simbarazo by Alec Macheso Obasharo is his, uh, known by his fans right now now this album was just hugely popular it had amazing amazing tracks with tracks such as Amaiwa Ruby uh, Tariro uh, and my favorite Mundukumbuke you know this track is just a masterpiece and up to now these tracks have managed to stand the test of time Macheso has released a lot of amazing albums even um, later in his career but this uh, this album really stands as his finest product to date it's just Fantastic. So whenever we mention Macheso, somewhere someone also uh, shout the name Dewa. And this next album is Naye by Dewa. Now you know what? Dewa was, or for most of his career, he was in the shadow of Macheso. But in 2006, he did something he had never done his whole career. He gave us a product which was better than Macheso's product. And the album Naye is just Fantastic. Uh, my favorite track from the album China Mombe. Uh, it's just an amazing track and I think a lot of you love I love this album and you know what when it was released uh, This album even won the best Sungura album Sungura album of the year. It won the best album of the year It was just on point and even though Dewar never managed to reach uh, this level again It's just a masterpiece and he gave us a timeless timeless album. Take a listen to this album. It's fantastic uh, so the last album I'll be talking about today comes from one of the best, the finest wordsmiths, lyricists we've ever seen uh, in, on the music scene in Zimbabwe, and it's Leonard Karkoga Shakata with the album Marowainika. Now this is a fantastic album. It's a supercharged album. It only contained four tracks, uh, most popular known Mugowe and Marowainika. And this album created a big reputation for Jakarta. The lyrics were politically charged, which even uh, led to him being banned on radio. But regardless, this album was so popular, it sold over 100,000 copies. And up to now, uh, Jakarta still holds the record for being the youngest artist uh, to sell uh, more than 100,000 copies. It's a fantastic album. And you know what, Jakarta is very much respected. Wherever you go and ask, people talk about Jakarta with very much respect. And this is the album that really made, that created such a respect for him. It's a fantastic album. Take a listen to the album. You definitely enjoy it. So I'll post the link to, uh, to where you can buy and listen to all these uh, the five albums I've mentioned today uh, in the description below. Uh, so yeah. That's it for these first five uh, for the Sungura edition. So you know what? I know there are a lot of amazing Sungura albums out there. 
go in the comment section below tell me about the albums tell me about the artists you know what and also don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel see you again next time